This is Vampyrotuthus infernalis, a living fossil that is almost unchanged from its ancestors that lived 300 million years ago, during the age of dinosaurs. When it was discovered by humans about 100 years ago, it was named the vampire squid, although it is neither a vampire nor really a squid. Vampyrotuthus has very large eyes because it lives about half a mile deep in the ocean, where the light is very dim. We took these pictures from a deep-diving robotic submarine, and you can see the reflection of our lights in that beautiful blue eye. Vampyrotuthus has eight long arms, and at the tip of each arm is a light-producing organ that glows bright blue. That long curly strand is a sensory filament. On the insides of the arms, there are suckers out near the tips, and also a series of finger-like projections called cirri. Vampyrotuthus captures food, like small shrimps, by surrounding them with the webbing between its arms. Once prey are trapped inside the web, the cirri push them toward the mouth. When Vampyrotuthus is startled, it curls its web and arms around the rest of its body, which drastically changes its shape and appearance, perhaps fooling a predator into thinking it is something else. When it really wants to move, Vampyrotuthus uses jet propulsion, fin flapping, and web pulses to speed away from danger. Vampyrotuthus is just one of millions of species that live in the deep ocean, most of whom have never been seen or described by any human. They are threatened by ocean warming, decreasing oxygen, pollution, overfishing, industrialization, and dozens of other changes taking place in the deep. We have a responsibility to learn all we can about these amazing animals and to protect them from the greatest danger to life in the deep, the human species. This is Bruce Robeson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.